In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of Radar Omega. Radar Omega is an application that works on both your PC and your phone for viewing all kinds of weather-related information. Um, I got real into watching weather YouTube earlier this year, and um, all those guys always use Radar Omega, so I actually picked up one of the uh, cheap subscriptions so I could play around with it. Um, so I'm just going to go through some of the basics that you can do in Radar Omega and um, talk a little bit about what all these lines and colors mean. So uh, a couple things that I've turned on inside Radar Omega here are um, the surface level fronts, um, some of the storm prediction center information, and right now I am using the reflectivity uh, radar setting. So one thing that uh, kind of threw me off when I first was getting started with Radar or Omega is that um, it's kind of set up to have single site radar um, information. So if you look around here, I don't have any radar information um, for my uh, the rest of the United States because I have single site radar turned on. And I'm selecting uh, the Sullivan site here near Milwaukee. I live in Madison, so that's like the closest radar station and provides the kind of the the best detail when it comes to um, radar information around my area. What you usually see on like weather apps is um, kind of like an estimation of all the radar sites and that's what this is. So as you can see it provides a pretty good overview of what's going on but if you want um, kind of higher clarity of the current area that you're in you can switch to uh, the single site radar. So right now this is just kind of some rain moving through the area. You can see uh, we may have some thunderstorms later that kind of thing. The other thing that I have turned on is the uh, Storm Prediction Center's kind of uh, one-day outlook for the current area. So if you go to this little uh, hamburger menu and click Severe Weather, you can select this Categorical or Tornado or Wind or Hail, whatever you're uh, interested in, and it's going to draw these little lines on um, your map to kind of tell you where the weather is predicted to be today. And for me, if I, I can see this big yellow area is a slight risk. If you click on that, it'll actually give you the day one outlook for um, this area. And where that is coming from is straight from the um, NOAA website here, the Storm Prediction Center. You can see this map here is the same map that you see inside Radar Omega. So I have those same lines drawn over a live view of the weather inside Radar Omega. Uh, the other thing that I've turned on, um, which is kind of fun, is uh, lightning detection. So when there are thunderstorms and that kind of thing, it's going to show a little lightning animation whenever lightning is detected around here. I'm not actually seeing any lightning at the moment. You actually see these little lightning um, things pop up. Additionally, you'll notice in the top right here we have five alerts. Uh, earlier this year, this was pretty crazy. You'd see all kinds of tornado warnings and um, thunderstorm warnings and that kind of thing. Uh, right now we just have a flash flood warning and a special weather statement. You can click either of these to expand those items and actually read the details of those items here. And those are actually also drawn on the map. So here is that special weather statement. If you click it, you can see the same information here as well. Um, a couple of other cool things that you can do with the radar. So we actually have obviously the reflectivity, which is you know, the radar is bouncing off things in the atmosphere. When it's hail, it's going to be a different color. You know, it goes from like red to white and that kind of thing. Um, right now, we just have, you know, some heavy rain in some areas. So that's why it's red in some places and that kind of thing. But um, you can also look at things like uh, velocities. So this is actually how quickly the, um, the uh, you know, this, this front is moving or the wind is moving. Um, based on where that radar is. So what you actually see is this is how fast it's moving either away from or towards the radar. So green being towards and red being away from. And if you click this little icon down here, you can actually um, get this little target and you can look at the different um, wind speeds around here. So this little target icon actually works for any of the um, radar products. So now you can see here, this is like, um, how you know how much it's bouncing off that stuff in the atmosphere so um, the higher the number the more dense that stuff is so in this case heavy rain is a little more dense than light rain and that kind of thing and if there's no rain then you know we get two dbz 
turn that back off. And the other thing that uh, I found interesting that um, weather forecasters typically talk about a lot is the correlation coefficient. And we're not going to see anything really here aside from, again, the rain. But the correlation co coefficient is um, typically used to see if there is debris on the ground from a tornado. So you'll actually see big black blobs that kind of indicate that there's a whole bunch of debris in the atmosphere from a tornado. So that's one of the ways that I think forecasters use to like determine if a tornado is actually on the ground. Um, you'll actually see like tornado warning radar indicated, meaning they're seeing, you know, some of the telltale signs of um, a tornado, like a hook echo or a debris ball with a correlation coefficient. So um, that's kind of interesting. I'm definitely no forecaster, but it's been fun to play around with um, these tools. A couple other tools that I find interesting one being this measurement tool you can actually s estimate how long a storm is going to take to get to you by selecting this and then dragging it out setting the wind speed so if it was moving at like 25 miles an hour it's going to give you a list of all the places that it's going to encounter and how long it's going to take to get there based on that that calculation so you can kind of play around with that to see how far it's going to uh, or how quickly it's going to get to certain places um, and then there are a whole bunch of other things that you can um, turn on. Uh, earlier uh, this year when we had a couple um, hurricanes, um, the tropical weather forecasting was kind of information, or was pretty cool because you could see like, you know, track information, the cone and stuff like that of the, um, the hurricane coming into Florida um, earlier this year. Uh, additionally, um, I used to live out west, so I've turned on the fire weather um, conditions, and that will actually highlight areas of high fire danger out west. Right now, we actually don't have any, but you'll see this big orange blob over areas of high weather or fire weather danger. And uh, if you click on it, it'll give you some discussion about that um, information. So this is just like a brief overview of Radar Omega. If you're a weather nerd like me, it's pretty fun to play around with. Obviously, I am no expert, and I did not go to school for this, but it is fun to click around. It's a lot more advanced than most radars that you're going to find online. I actually have the very basic subscription, and I, I think it's like $50 a year to um, get what I have here. There are some additional like um, options. I mostly just wanted the desktop access, so that's what that has provided me. Um, and yeah, so I would say go around, play play with Radar Omega. Um, this is not an advertisement. I just think it's a really cool thing to play around with. 